A lot of people really love this Surface Go form factor. I do. It's a, it's a really nice little tablet, sub 10 inches. Um, it's kind of cute actually how, how small it is, but um, probably want to look for a case to uh, protect it. So that's what I've got today. I've got a couple of cases that just came in um, that we, we found available here in Australia. There's probably lots more cases than this, but these are the two that I just got hold of. Um, first of all, I've got this Kensington case here. It's called the Black Belt. A rugged case. What I find interesting, at least looking at the pictures here, is you'll notice that this generation of cases, particularly this one, allows you to use the inbuilt surface, in this case the Surface Go kickstand, which is something that I really like because a lot of the other cases uh, that are on the market for the Surface Pro 3 and 4 at least, um, they sort of replicated the kickstand um, functionality and it looks like the Ducks case does that uh, over here from STM, but the um, trouble with doing that is that it tends to add a fair bit of extra weight, which is probably unnecessary. So let's have a look at this STM black belt case, uh, sorry, the case, sorry, the Kensington black belt case, first of all. So let me get rid of that sticky stuff. More sticky stuff. All right, so that's the case there. Um, oh, okay, so there's a little sort of rubberized hand strap. That's really nice, actually. Just on the top there, that's interesting. Um, there's some rubber stuff on the inside here. I don't know what that's for. I guess that's the binding for the outside rubber strap there. That's pretty clever. Looks like it's pretty strong. Uh, there's a slot on the side for the pen. There's also a tether here for the pen. I'm going to figure out how that works. And holes on the side for the port. So it's actually, that's it. That's all there is to it. That's a really simple case. But the important things that it's got as I go and put this on is these rubber bumpers, these sort of hard plastic or they feel kind of rubberized edges that are really going to protect your device. So let's get rid of the pen. And I'll just turn this off while I do it. Now I imagine, I haven't read the instructions, who does that? Let me just pop this in there. There we go, look at that. And we're in. All right, I better figure out this little kickstand element here, or this, uh, not kickstand, uh, pen tether. How do we get that loose? Okay, it comes loose. Kind of wrapped up in there a couple of times. Looks like it's removable too. The pen tether, which is a good, good idea. Might have to uh, go away and figure this bit out. All right, so you can, it's like you can push that along and detach it. That's pretty clever too. So if you don't want to use this pen tether, I hate pen tethers, you can just detach it. That said, if you don't want to lose your pen, you can kind of slot that on the pen, push it down there. All right, it's a pretty tight, firm grip. There we go. And you could attach that to the side of your Kensington black belt case. All right, let me put that back in the case. All right, I'm gonna put the pen just on the side here. Sticks out a little bit. Mm. Not super keen on that idea, but it's okay. And then I'm gonna attach my keyboard. These cases always get in the way of the keyboard a little bit, but this one looks like it's designed pretty well. It's got nice clearance for that. You can see that the keyboard sits nice and flush within the confines of the base. The beauty of that, it's gonna protect the screen. So, and then there's this little rubber flap on the side here. So if you pull that over, you can actually get it to hold your keyboard in place so it doesn't flip open when you're walking along with it. So, if I'm a field worker, I take that off, I leave it in the car, and I walk out with the Surface Go, attach it to my hand like this, and I can collect a bit of data with the pen. I'm doing it left-handed, I'm right-handed, so I'm gonna do it like this. That is nice, it's super light, really, really light. It's not adding a lot of bulk and weight to the device. And I've got the pen with me. 
And perhaps if I'm a student or someone like that, parents don't want you to break your Surface Go, that is gonna be really good protective when it sits in the bag and in your, in your backpack. That's gonna protect your Surface Go really nicely. Um, and lastly, let me just test using it with the keyboard. So, ah, okay, over on this side here, you can see, what's that, I'm looking at the back, it's on the right side. There's a little notch so that you can still open up the kickstand. It's gonna sit on the desk still nicely and you can still fold the keyboard up and use it really effectively there. So, hmm, I really like the Kensington Black Belt case. Um, so let's move on and have a look at the, the ducks. So this case is the STM ducks case. Um, and we've used STM cases in the past for the Surface Pro series quite a lot. And it's got some nice packaging on it, but how do I open it? There it is on the side, little magnetic opening case. Um, nice packaging. Very similar to all of the other Ducks cases that we've seen over the years from STM. Um, I'm just going to take the plastic off here. The plastic on the back. Let's have a quick look at the case itself. So it's got a protective plastic insert there. It has its own kickstand, which I'm just trying to figure out now. A little notch on either side so you can open up that kickstand. Feels like it's got a little magnetic attach or something there. I'm not sure how that works. All right, little plastic kickstand opens up. There's actually, looks to be a spot on the back here, but maybe potentially for your pen. We'll figure out how this works in a second. Um, let's put the surface go into that case. So this case does replicate the functionality of the kickstand, so it doesn't uh, allow you to use the inbuilt kickstand. So in that way, it probably adds a little bit of weight to the device, but it is quite protective. You can see it's got these rubber, rubberized corners and edges. What did I do with the pen? I left it attached to the other one. <laughs> All right, let's grab the pen here and that actually has, the, the pen has a spot right here in the device, so the, in the actual case, it's a, it's a nice little spot there. Probably makes a lot of sense actually there, because it's uh, really embedded with the device. Pen's protected, it's always there, You're not gonna lose it with this one here, it's not gonna fall out, not like the magnetic connection on the side. Um, we've still got the spot at the bottom for the keyboard. Let's see how the keyboard closes up. So that's nice. Fits nice. Um, I wonder if we can get the kick. keyboard will drop open there. Kickstand on the back. So we can set it up at any angle, just like the inbuilt Surface Go kickstand. And the keyboard folds up there quite nicely as well. So you can either use it folded or flat. So that's a really nice case as well. Um, like I said, it does replicate the kickstand on the back. It doesn't have a hand strap or uh, any uh, shoulder strap attachments for this one. Um, so probably not the best for field users. Great though for, uh, for students, people like that, maybe who just want a little bit more protection on their Surface Go. So there's the two rugged case options that I found quickly uh, here in Australia. No doubt, like I said, there's plenty of other case options, ruggedized cases for the Surface Go. But if you found this review helpful, remember to give us the thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to learn how to use this device effectively. Probably some instructions in the box on how to do this. <laughs> Brett figuring stuff out. Oh, there we go. Got it. <laughs>